What's up, guys? Today on Famous Criminals, we are talking about the triple OG Spodum Godum, more commonly known as the Jacksonville Jackhammer. Some people believe that Scottum Godum is the greatest rapper in all of Duval County behind Fulio. One thing is for certain, he is the most popular rapper to come out of Jacksonville since Fred Durst. Now, these songs are copywritten claims, so I can't play them. This song, Got a Little Older, is a bit mumbly, not really my thing. His biggest song, Beatbox 2, is alright, it kinda sounds like Gang Sh by Youngboy. And his newest song, No Strings Attached, it might be his best, it's pretty melodic. So Spot em Got Him is the only dude that's ever made Tory Lanez look tall. You gotta have some kind of complex to want to be a rapper. I don't mean that in a bad way either. I'm just saying the narcissism has to come from somewhere. Nobody wants to see a rapper who's had the good life. Think about it. So this dude might have a baby face, but he is 100% solid. He is a member of KTA. This is him with Slugga T and Mookie under YNR. Young and Ruthless. Spottom is probably the only member of YNR that's not in jail right now, but don't let the baby face fool you. These are the types of dudes you gotta look out for. Now, when Scottum was just 15 years old, he was arrested for suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. They were casing out the place and carrying a concealed weapon, and one of the people they were with actually got away with a truck. On them. Chadwick Daniels and Nehemiah Harden, both 15 years old, were arrested early Tuesday morning for grand theft auto and carrying a concealed weapon. St. John's County deputies got a call about a vehicle on Sand Lake Drive, and that's when these two teens were found walking on International Golf Parkway with guns. And less than a mile away, a truck was stolen out of the driveway. Deputies say it was unlocked and the keys were left inside. Now, before we get into who he's beefing with, I found a screenshot from one of his lives. And and there appears to be a pink lightsaber in the background. And as we all know, felons are unfortunately not allowed to have weapons. And being seen on Instagram live with one can get you into serious trouble. So be careful. Now, Spottom Gotham has got so many beefs. I don't know where to start. This dude, Ricker Reed, him and Spottom are both from the West Side. They were bro dogs, and they even made a music video together. And this music video looks like a dad taking his kid to Dave and Buster's. All of a sudden, Spottom got him start dissing him in songs, saying things like, I'm smoking on Red. And Red would post DMs between him and Spottom. Spottom apparently got robbed for three grand golds and two poles. The dudes who robbed Spottom were actually people he invited over and they didn't even wear masks so he knew exactly who they were and it looks like he was messaging Red to plan some revenge and Red told Spottom it's his own fault that he got robbed and it kind of looks like now he's using Spottom's name to get attention because as we all know you get the most hate within your own city so snitching allegations. The conflict between Spottom and Mookie does not have anything to do with who has better wicks. The police showed up at Spottom and Mookie's residence to look for Mookie. Spottom told police that Mookie said there's crackers here and left. He's obviously gonna get water because he's thirsty from all the crackers he ate. Spottom said that Mookie left probably with a gun. The cops asked if the toilet was flushing properly, as if the cops are actually going to take apart the pipes and see if they flush down any drugs. That's a little stupid. They checked Spottom's satchel bag. Yes, he has a satchel bag. The police found bullets and amphetamine pills. Spottom told the cops, I don't know where these pills came from, but I did steal those bullets from Dick Sporting Goods so I can sell them to Jits. So it looks like he cooperated with the police and even admitted to stealing. He could have just said he bought those bullets and that he has a prescription. And he also could have said that Mookie just went to see his friends. These cops really put pressure on you and get you to crack. And my advice is just don't open the door. Let them knock for 45 minutes. They obviously need a warrant. Now this paperwork was mostly flaunted by members of ATK to create division among KTA. Both Fulio and Mookie defended Spottom. Mookie actually said that the document is fake. Now who knows, it could be, but this video here shows that Spottom is saying that the police must have embellished the documents themselves. They, you say they told you to delete the first post Mookie told you to post though? He trying to make it seem like it's something is not. Yeah, he is. That's why when he kept calling my phone, how did you get my number? 
And he was like, I just talked to your brother. And he was like, delete it. But my brother never did tell me to delete it. He yeah. told me to delete it. I'm like, why you calling my phone on him and this me? Why you keep calling my phone on, like, why you ain't so anxious to tell me to delete a post that he told me to post? That's how I knew it was something with him. Now, his main beef is obviously between him and members of ATK. That includes Spinna Benz, Wappa with the Choppa, Young and Ace. And these young gentlemen are always going back and forth on social media. Every time a member of one gang dies, a member of the other one celebrates, usually in song form. And because all these people are coming after him, he's got to carry a gun with them. In July 2021... Bottom got him got arrested for aggravated assault with a firearm and possession of a firearm by a felon. Spot him and a few of his homies broke into a parking garage and spot him pulled out a gun on the security guard trying to kick them out. The cops found him in a hotel with an AK-47 in his bed. Now after this in September, Spot him got him would go to a studio in Miami and whoever his ops are, they were able to find out which studio he was at. So when he left, they followed, and they put 20 shots in the white Dodge that Spottom was in. And Spottom would get shot five times. Wappa with the Choppa would take credit for the shooting on Facebook. Here he says, I'm in Miami with my heat out. He made a reference to the song Beatbox, which is Spottom Gotham's biggest song. And he said he's been patiently waiting for the news that Spottom Gotham is going to die. But he survived. Now... I feel like getting arrested and getting shot has been a wake-up call for Mr. Gotham. He hasn't really seen any trouble since then, and hopefully he can keep it up. Now let me know if you guys like this thumbnail and if I should keep using thumbnails. This was made by Born Binks on Instagram, and he also made my profile picture. Anyway, I'm out.